I mean, we're, we're going to see incredible roller coaster on the thermometer over the next week or so. You know, what was it, a week, week and a half ago we were dealing with uh, wind chill warnings and advisories and all sorts of things like that. It, we've warmed up. Now we're going to go right back down today. Hi, I'm on that camera there. All right, I'll just keep talking. There you go. <laughs> Check out Viper Radar HD. And on the wide view, you can see some snow showers rotating through the state of Wisconsin. Notice how they're moving from the north to the south. And I, I think we're going to see a fair amount of those scattered flakes flying through the air as we go through uh, the day today, particularly this morning on the backside of deep low pressure. All right, so there's some of that activity just up to our north. Let's focus on that using advanced Doppler 4 radar technology at the neighborhood level. And you can see, all right, there's 43 in Sheboygan County going into Manitowoc County. Back off to the west, there's 41 from Fond du Lac County heading toward Winnebago and uh, I, I, Oshkosh around there. They're going to see uh, some of those snow showers sinking southward as we head uh, through the next hour or so. So be aware there may be a few slick spots. No significant accumulation, just kind of a coating here and there. But tomorrow, a little more significant. I mean, it's not a barn burner, but we may have to do some shoveling. Central and south across our area, I do expect a clipper system to produce between one and three inches of snow up to the north, slightly lesser amounts as you head through the day tomorrow. Outside right now in West Bend, just a few passing flurries. No big deal, though. And in between those flakes, we're actually seeing a peak or two at the stars. In your weather headlines for this Friday, temps taking a huge tumble and a split decision on the weekend, a snowy Saturday, but sun returning for Sunday. Outside right now, frigid readings, 7 in Waukesha, 10 in West Bend and Port, 11 in Milwaukee. That's 10 to 15 degrees colder than yesterday at this time. Wind chills averaging about 5 below zero this morning, tapping into that cold Arctic air mass just up to the north. And notice that big counterclockwise rotation. That's round number one. Next one, clipper system coming at us out of Canada very very rapidly. Watch it on future forecast as it races toward Wisconsin. That'll mean some snow for tomorrow. So your storm team forecast for today started the Waukesha Janbury. It's going to be very cold again, about 18 for a high with scattered snow showers tonight. We'll see the temperatures bitter cold dropping to near four with skies becoming partly cloudy tomorrow. Kind of snowy through the day, not a huge accumulation, but one to three inches. Otherwise, uh, Look for cold temperatures up to near 20, and tomorrow night the snow tapers off and temperatures down to 10. Here's your Storm Team 10-day outlook, and as we go to the tail end of the weekend, look for sunshine and readings rebounding beautifully to near 31. But then next week, oh my goodness, we go back down on the roller coaster, Caitlin. Single-digit readings for highs Tuesday into Wednesday. Just a reminder, we're still in the thick of winter. Thanks.